Today is the Town Hall 12 Clash Masters League Grand Finals. This is going to be five versus five. One attack per player. We're kicking off here with Castra... Ca Catastros, I said that name wrong, versus Visionaries, the two teams that distinguished themselves and made it into this grand finals match. And it looks like we're starting off a little bit of Zap Dragons. Looks like he's got enough lightning to take out like an air defense and something else there. So, uh, Queen is going to make her way in the right side of the base there. Just go through this very, very light area here with not a full stack of healers, just a light stack. And a little bit of lightning takes out the air defense on the left side. He can charge the other air defense directly. The Queen will step forward and she'll get this air defense down here. And then I guess he's got a couple of rocket boons on standby to go out to the backside air defense. You can see them get ready here. You see the archers picking up this mortar so they can have direct access into it. And that's going to work out great. Maybe Dragon on standby. Slammer over the side of the base there. He's going to end on the town hall. So a little bit risky on this one. So if he doesn't make it to the town hall, he's going to be in a lot of trouble here. But notice where the clan castle is. Clan castle on the far left side of the base. And so he's going to charge that area with dragons. We only saw headhunters come out of the defensive clan castle. And that means that the rest of the troops in there are likely a lava hound or a couple of ice golems. And when that building goes down, they go down with it because they were never drawn out. Queen getting overwhelmed to the right side. Probably gonna lose there, but the healers will pass over to the king. King can pop his ability there, get a little bit more value out of that. And the main push here can rage up and drive right through that town hall takedown. Got the air defense under control. And into the town hall we go. He's still got a poison on standby. He can pop that under the air skellies if necessary. But the dragons quickly get that under control here. Lots of dragons still moving here. They're gonna take the blast, but that's okay at this point. There's all the dragons over the left side of the base there. They're gonna wrap around that town hall blast to make their way into the final defenses and guys it looks like he's got it under control tornado trap tried to slow it up the best it can but cannot stop it at the pace it needs to it is a triple to start off this grand finals match for cat 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 catastrophes <laughs> why is that so difficult for me to say but there's some uh, special rules here that we need to take note of is nobody's allowed to use super dragons and because the new hero equipment just was introduced to the game the uh, admins have decided that they are not allowed to use the new hero equipment on this war here. Element, starting off with a Zap Dragon attack of his own. A little bit of lightning over the left side, a little bit of lightning over the right side, taking out two of the air defenses, and it looks like he'll combine that with the E-Drag and, I guess, a Baby Dragon, and try to cut the funnel to go right through the tunnel takedown. But the Tesla has popped here. That Tesla's going to potentially cause some problems. More Tesla pop in the area. More lightning going across the top of the base. Getting down three air defenses. I would imagine that the king and queen could go after the eagle artillery and take another air defense over there. That'd be some good value, but there is a single inferno right there, so maybe he would be a little bit hesitant on, hesitant on that. I'm not sure. But either way, he'll push his way through the talent takedown. Warning and targeted by the headhunters. Uh oh, that's bad! That's bad! That's bad! Warden being forced to auto ability, rages up and tries to get through the town hall before he takes a blast. That's gonna be painful. Oh, he hit the blast went out there before he ran out of Warden. So he's okay. And he's, thin. he's going to stick around here and continue to get some damage output. But Slammer in the left side of the base. And he will make his way across to the Eagle Artillery. But he's out of freezes. He cannot lock out this single Inferno. So the troops inside the Slammer hopefully can power through. He got the Clan Castle destroyed there without... I don't, I don't know what came out of there. I didn't see... But maybe he was able to destroy it and get the troops inside of it out of the way there as well. But the queen going to the outside of the base here is a little bit of a problem because that air defense on the backside is going to give him a little bit of a headache. But I think she's turning back now. He pops her ability early. Maybe should have waited for just a moment on that to get the maximum value. But she will get into the air defense. She will take it down. Dragons are surviving. And another Zap Dragon attack. Get it done here at Town Hall 12. Zap Dragons is and has been one of the strongest attacks in the game. And when we get into matches where we are allowed to use hero equipment... The Rage Gem on the Warden makes this attack specifically extremely strong. So if you haven't uh, figured out exactly where you want to pump out your uh, hero equipment levels, I, I recommend that you level up that Blacksmith to level 4 and then push that Rage Gem and then maybe the uh, Giant Gauntlet if you got it unlocked from the, uh, the Winter Holiday event there. You're not just blindly zapping out high value because there is no value with these air defenses. He zaps out the air defenses not be just because they're air defenses, but because the lightning takes out a big defense that you need to get out of the way anyways, and it forms the funnel. You don't just want to zap out just anything random. You're trying to set up the entry so that the dragons stay together. That is the key to making this attack work. The tighter the pack into the dragons to go to the core of the base, the better off you're going to be. War's all tied up. And remember, this is a grand finals match, so... 
the winner of the Clash Masters League is decided right here, right now. But it looks like it is going to be a Skelly Bat Donut. Skeleton Spells going after the CC, but Bat Spells trying to work on this multi inferno can't reach the other inferno there maybe they get the sweeper out of the way there but they did get the inferno so that's good i was a little bit concerned that he would miss the inferno i thought he was trying to go after both of the infernos there at the same time but he got the more important one but unfortunately we see that on bases that are commonly going to be are on bases that you're going to have the most likely lightning targets taken out there in the very core of the base like that like if you have an inferno in the middle of the base a lot of people are going to zap it out with some lightning and so wherever we expect the lightning to go in we surround that by a kessel farm so that if they do use the lightning on that then they end up with a big pocket of defense filling in the gap and then the balloons still have to pass through there anyways and it doesn't just effectively remove the traps off of the base there because if there's no reason for the balloons to go in there anymore then he could just have a bunch of traps in there be completely disabled and they'll never come back into play but in this case he'll still have to path through the core of the base there the queen at least picking up the air defense on the side of the base there maybe she could reach a tesla or two over the wall that'd be really helpful the i bet you this uh core of the base here is just completely riddled with traps but he does get a couple out of the way there and the queen actually finds a relatively safe spot to stand but the ward ability protects the blimp blimp sails across the base there blimp will land at the town hall takedown freeze it up rage it up and sweeper knocking him back but i think he's on target still i think he's gonna take the town hall he's got Sneaky Goblins in there, or is it just Yetis? Looks like it is just Yetis by the looks of it. But the Queen does die out there. He got the Tezzas out of the way, so that's a big deal. He's got the last couple of his balloons going to the back side of the base. Sweeper, Sweeper's not getting back. Well, minions distract him for a little bit here. He's got that freeze. He'll freeze at the sweeper and the single inferno and the expo. Very good value. The minions actually end up taking the sweeper. So that'll stop the knockback because he goes into the single inferno. And the single inferno is the only thing that stands in his path right now. Minions distract the single inferno. Blue steps in and takes the strike. And that will overwhelm it. Rex gets it done. And Catastros. Ha, I got, I got the name right that time. <laughs> gets a trip on the board. Right now... Twitch drops are enabled, so there's a bunch of glowy ore in here if you watch for a couple hours on Twitch anytime throughout this week between Christmas and New Year's. So if you pop over to Twitch and then watch for, I think it's two hours and you get the glowy ore, which is a couple wars worth of glowy ore. So nice little pickup right there for some entertainment. You could just put it on and then uh, walk away from your computer or you can hang out and enjoy some live streams. But a lot of people are, are doing the Twitch drops right now. so. Definitely a good time to pop on over and hang out. There's a link for my Twitch in the video description if you wanna if you wanna check it out here. So okay, look at this. This is what I talked about the last one here. A lot of bases are going to have Teslas around these centered infernos so that if people zap them out there, then the area is gonna get filled in by Tesla. So if I had to anticipate where the Tesla farm is on this base, I would guess that it's right there in the cork apartment, and he'll probably reveal it in just a moment. But using rocket balloons or maybe a dragon as well gets a double black air bomb and he needs to get a he needs to get a little bit more force into that into that inferno though so the queen doesn't lose her healers Craddock's bow behind her not going to target the healers but we're going to put some heavy damage on her for a long time and forces her to ability all right rk you really really need to get this top inferno under control he should have put a dragon into it. he's got a baby dragon he needs to deal with that like now he puts in the rocket balloons now but the healers are taking a lot of damage there charge the dragons directly into the last remaining air defense down south and he probably will want to use the Rage to get the dragons through the defensive queen. But in the meantime, while breaking his queen through to the town hall, no ability to protect there. But maybe he can use the ward ability to protect the uh, defensive queen takedown here. So he's got the dragons locked onto it now. Looks like the dragons actually had it well, but he did end up popping the ward ability. But it could not cover the slammer troops right there. The queen was able to secure the town hall takedown, but she went down in the process to the expo. And, I mean, this one's a little bit shaky right now. Let's also remind you guys that if we end up with a double perfect war, which is a very high probability with the two teams that were able to make it to a grand finals, then we would have time decided. So, this one right here, even if it is able to pull all the way through a triple, which is questionable right now, it would still be kind of pretty close on time. And right now, yeah, I don't know if this warden can finish off yet. The warden will lose that fight. Oh, rip. Yeah, he messed up a lot during that attack there. That top inferno, he must have got scatterbrained or something because he lost a lot of value of his queen 
by letting her healers get wrecked by the multi inferno by being too slow to react up there and he was trying to like juggle the deployment of the dragons and the queen at the same time and he messed it up so it is the first miss of the war and it means catas cat catastrophe <laughs> not mess up again catastrophe has the lead by 19 buildings at a star Pekka, Super Wizards, and Bat, anti two star base. And let's also remind you that they're not allowed to use any siege machines that they can't create themselves. So they're basically effectively limited to Stone Slammer, Wall Wrecker, and Blimp. This one gonna run the Slammer here because the Slammer is very effective with the with the Pekkas. It, ideally, uh, something like a Flame Flinger or a siege barracks would be more effective if they had access to that but if you have to choose out of the three that they have available it's best to have the slammer go and try to deal with some of the splash damage on the back side of the base and try to get the bats better set up here and that's going to be more effective than any other alternative and i see where he wants to put it i see that from the right side entry you can go after this wizard tower here and potentially get all the way into the Inferno here, but I feel like he needs to maybe deploy it directly onto the Expo here to get that under control. He's gonna jump, so he may be able to backtrack to the Expo, but he'll quickly engage the defensive queen. He's gonna rage up, need to pop a word ability soon, I would think. Maybe pop it before you have to burn it through the town hall, pop it early into the, the defenses there, or, uh, yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, the Pekkas can take the blast there. The Pekkas can survive the blast and then heal back up, as long as you keep the healers under control here. The healers safe as you make way forward. But he's ready for the Slammer whenever he wants to deploy it. He's just waiting for an opportunity, and he's just kind of coasted his way forward. Super Wizards definitely help clear out these Lava Puffs rather quickly. And I see this... Okay, there we go. Put it into the right side. Expect it. Okay, so he needs to get the Town Hall under control here. I've seen this be effective with uh, both the the Pekkas and the Super Wizards or Super Witches. In my personal opinion, I think the Super Witches are better. Or just Mass Witches, because you don't have to deal with like scatter shots and stuff like that that you do with Town Hall uh, 16, and 15, 15, 13, all the other ones, everything above Town 12, right? But he'll pop that Queen ability, keep his way, making his, making his way forward here. The Pekkas are gonna get diverted back into the middle of the base there, and the Queen, trying to do what she can, he freezes to put the bats over to the left side of the base there, and there's only one Wizard Tower outside of that, so if that Wizard Tower goes down without losing too many bats, which it does, then he has a chance here. Pekkas will continue to tank. Yetis have joined out of the Slammer. Wall breaks across the top there. That's not doing much there to get the bats through, but these Expos are doing a lot of work to slow these bats down. A little bit late on that backside balloon. The Expos are holding the line here, but did they get enough here? He's got the Wizard working over there with the with the Giant, and if he can get that that, ar ah, that cannon down, he'd be able to pick up the storage here and save him a lot of time, but right now, I don't know if he can get this done in time. He's got the percentage necessary, but it does look like it's going to be a defense. He could not... Make his way through the base quickly enough there. That Lava Hound really, really slowed him up there pretty heavily. And that pacing lost right there just slowed everything. It, stalled, it dropped it to a halt. And then the Pekkas just kind of outran all the other troops there while they stopped and fought off the Clan Castle. So it's a 91%. And that means that our split between the teams is currently 10 buildings. If we see a triple out of Visionaries right now, we'll tie up the war. Boom, boom. Bum, bum boom <laughs> is that is that how you say that all right boom boom in with a skelly bat donut skeletons are not here only bat spells but look at this he finds an extra tesla there and once again we said it before put the teslas in the area that we would anticipate we need to use lightning where we anticipate we would receive lightning i mean that way you fill in the gaps. You fill in the gaps and make them have to go to that section of the base there anyways and keep those traps in play. But in the meantime, with that Skelly Donut, or excuse me, Bat Donut taking out those defenses, he's gonna need to connect the whole creative by the lightning. Like always, always, always envision any lightning attack that you do or any Skelly Donut attack that you do where you have this hole created in the base now. Effectively, that's our hole. So we need to clear all the defenses from that connected to the outside of the base there as much as possible. So we need to take the Town Hall down, and then it looks like he's going to break the Riga defenses. I mean, the Sweeper would be a key target right here to take down. Queen's making her way that direction, because the Sweeper finishes breaking the Riga defenses there. He deploys the Slammer up the top there. 
Ideally, we'd get the air defense tank there. You don't really want the slammer. But a bat spell goes down, and the queen is going to continue on. She's going to break the ring of defenses and force all the troops to circle around the left side of that there. We don't want the troops going through the area that was already removed by the skelly and the lightning because we have the chance to avoid any traps in the area if we never send blues to the area. But everybody wraps around the hole created by the lightning. That's the biggest and most important thing there. You punch a hole with whatever way you want to do, whether that be a Yeti bomb, uh, a clone blimp, whatever. Like you could, there's a billion different ways there that you could uh, punch a hole in the middle of the base there. That's just one of the many variations. And then afterwards, you just got to wrap around it after you have something break the ring of trash defenses to make sure everybody circles the same direction. That way, everybody stays together. We got a bunch of traps going off the core of the base there, as we did end up having the slammer dump out a dragon out there, but that's fine. He's going to get the balloons into the multi inferno and. Multi got it on the crash damage right there. Boom, boom on his way to maybe get the triple here. But the air defense and expo going to do a lot of damage. A lot of his claims going to be stuck on the defensive king. The blue split. That's bad. That's really, really bad. He gets the air defense down with the warden. The warden staying in action here as he does tank the expo. But it would be better if he would actually attack the defenses. But he only will follow a stack of 20 or more. And right now there are no stacks of 20 or more. So he's going to end up dying out. Balloons make it to the wizard tower. And balloons cannot take it down. It's a defense. They cannot get it done. And boom, going to fall short. And that means his team will continue to play from behind. But the gap has narrowed a little bit. Visionaries now on defense. Need to pick up a hold here. Desperately need to pick up a hold here. The king going to make his way in before getting this... This uh, camp on the outside of the base here. The wizard right behind him. We'll get him to turn back around. Does he go back in? Yes, he does. Okay, that's good. He made a couple of buildings invisible, but the king was cooperating, so that ended up being unnecessary. That was a waste of an invisibility. We'll see if that ends up costing him later on, but a headhunter goes down to get him through the defensive king. Remember, they can't use any special hero equipment here. Although, you know what they could have done? I think they were allowed to level up their base equipment here, you know? <laughs> they could have like upgraded their internal dome a little bit there. And got the level 12. Remember, all the hero equipment gets new abilities, new... Their, their benchmarks are every third level. So, level 11 to level 12 is a big, big jump there. Because it doesn't just increase their passive abilities, but it increases the active abilities. Effectively making so that the Eternal Tome lasts for longer. Or the Queen is able to get longer invisibility and more damage output. The King would get uh, like a significant jump in his rage. Like there's the biggest increase is at those uh, 12th 12, uh, 12 level marks or 15th level marks or all those uh, increments of three. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Try to level up your hero equipment in increments of three whenever possible. But it looks like he's gonna get a slammer to go to the core of the base here. See with that air defense. Maybe, not sure if you'll get targeted, but the Lalo has started. Slammer taking the red air bombs at the core of the base there, but will be the first to engage the queen. Here comes headhunters to go after the queen. His queen staying alive here, pops her ability, gets through the wall. She will probably go over there and get the defensive queen out of the way eventually, but the headhunters arrive. He freezes and tries to catch her. He puts in a haste right there as well. Defensive queen is giving him trouble, but the headhunter is on her tail and ends up taking her down, and she cannot cause any more trouble. It is a triple for Catastros, and that means that they are going to sustain their lead. If they get another attack that stays in like the mid 80s, then they're going to win this. All right, trash. It's time to, time to go against your trash nature. <laughs> you know, uh, you know what they say? It's not garbage cannot. It's garbage can. So trash can get the triple here and get his team back in this war. Okay, that was really lame. <laughs> I tried though. I tried. I was, uh, I was going for some next level commentary there and it ended up being really lame. But it's okay. I'm okay with it. Uh, into the core of the base we go. King. Making his way forward there. But he's not going to have enough punch to get any defensive heroes down there. But that's okay. He's got the lava... Or excuse me. Ice Hound drawn out there. Wall breaks to get the queen to transition forward there. And the wall breaker does not hit the transition to the next compartment here. So the queen's going to turn all the way to the inside. But she'll eventually circle back out. Maybe he's okay with that. It cost some time though. 
Not going to get the cleanest transition between compartments here, but eventually he'll get towards the defensive queen. He's got two headhunters, so if he's going to push in with the Lalo, he needs to push in from the top of the base here so that the headhunters under ward ability can engage the defensive queen and take her down without having to go through the king. If you go in from the bottom, you have to push the headhunters through the king, and that's going to be trouble for him. But barely doesn't go to queen ability as he kind of leads that queen with the rage. Now she's okay. And he'll start in the balloons here. A minute and a half to get this done here. And he does decide to go in for the very bottom. And that is worrisome for me. He'll get the Eagle Artillery down earlier. But is it worth it? Is that going to be okay? Queen is attacking a wall. She did not go to the multi. And she's attacking a very, very bad wall right there. Oh, he's going to lose the Helios here. He needs to put balloons in on the right side, I think, to go get that other control. Otherwise, the Queen will just have to survive as long as she can. But she did get the defensive Queen out of the way there. She got the defensive King. And she'll make her way through the channel there. She'll get the backside Sweeper. And she may actually survive without a healer there. But it would have been extremely valuable for her to go get that Multi-Inferno down. But he does get there now. Queen gets the Sweeper out of the way there. Queen is going to survive. She's going to go out into clean up here and save some time. But this dragon might be the biggest deciding factor here to get into this Multi-Inferno. The Queen may have to loop all the way around here and get the air defense down. Because I don't think the balloons will take it. So the dragon will get the multi down. Me. Oh, there we go. Headhunters and wizards step into the top air defense. That's clutch right there. Queen makes her way back through the wall. Picks up the multi inferno. And it is a triple. Trash is getting it done here. He gives his team a chance. They have to find a defense or they're going to lose this war. Nice job. Nice pickup right there. That was a little bit scary there when the queen wasn't cooperating. And. Luckily, the queen did get the defensive queen down. Otherwise, she would have given him hell on the back side of the attack there. But he keeps it under control. And he's got the trouble that they need. This war will be decided by this exchange. As will the result of this grand finals in the Clash Masters League. Here we go. The vibe in with a zap queen charge into Lalo. If he can get the percentage up here to... I'm looking... At a 19, no, excuse me, 14% split between the teams right now. So that sets the bar here at an 85% or no, 87%, 87%. If he hits 87% there, then Catastros will win this grand finals. But if he misses, then Visionaries can triple and steal it from him. Pretty decently high set bar here, but tile 12 can be a little bit easier than what we see at the high level so i'd expect a little bit higher rate hit rate from these guys but the closer means that he may have been last to pick bases here maybe got a base that he was not super comfortable with but oh rip okay ball break miss that's gonna be a problem single inferno up ahead that's a big problem i'm a little i'm i was a little slightly concerned a little bit ago but i'm very very concerned right now I don't know what he does here. He's got two freezes. He's got a queen ability. She's going to step into the range and see Inferno now. Pop his ability. Or does he freeze? He freezes. Gonna walk right on through. That is so dangerous. Why would he do this? He rages up the queen again. And she needs to get out of there. She needs to get out of the range of the single Inferno. And she needs to get out now. Freeze again. Okay, she's clear. She's clear. She's clear. But unfortunately, he's taking black air bombs all over the place there. Passing through the channel. And the queen's going to make her way out into the trash for now. She's going north, I think. Same time. The, oh, she's going south. Okay, that's going to drag our healers through the multi. Oh, boy. <laughs> this, is, this is sloppy. This feels really, really sloppy. That multi is going to be trouble on the backside. But at least the queen will get the air defense out of the way. And then she may survive over there and do something significant. But he pops the ward ability. Not getting the punch of the town hall. Oh, this town hall is going to be lethal here. He's going to run out of ward ability. And... Boom! Down goes the balloons. Getting close to percentage, though. Slammer's still on standby. 10 more percent. 10 more percent. Can he find it? Can he find it? He pops the queen ability. Queen getting wrecked by the multi. Lava Hound coming her way. Gonna stop her up. Minions and pups working down south. He has no more cleanup. He left the three buildings up top. He's got the slammer. The slammer has to finish it. Queen chasing the hound. She's going to be stuck at the Hound there. Nothing to do about that. Two more buildings necessary. I think he's going to get it. I think he's going to get it. Queen steps over to the air defense first. Oh, man. He looked out there. <laughs> what does he do with the with the Slammer, though? I think it's fine, though. Either way, he's got the win. So the admins did message me after the match, and they told me that the reason he didn't drop his Stone Slammer is because he accidentally had the wrong troops in there, and they were a higher level donation than he was allowed to receive. And so if he dropped that Stone Slammer they would have lost the match by default. So there we go. 
Yo, Swag and Siege Machine and Catastros will win the Town Hall 12 Clash Masters League.